everyone, this is Phoenix Pi Plasma on my Raspberry Pi. Let's take a look at this operating system today. So I downloaded this from the link in the description and flashed it using my Raspberry Pi Imager tutorial, also linked in the description. And now it's all up and running right here. And let's explore the operating system. So this is our menu down here with uh, the Raspberry logo and there are some pre-installed programs. So there are some nice things in here, not a whole lot for the most part, but there's enough stuff here for a fresh install. Of course, you can also install more. And I want to check out the performance of this operating system. So this is the KDE Plasma desktop environment, which a lot of times runs quite slow on the Pi. However, this is a fast operating system for KDE. Let's check out Chromium. Let's go over to my channel and take a look at some video playback, which is a common thing that you test on a Raspberry Pi. So if we go right here, we can set the resolution and go to stats for nerds. And now let's play this. Very nice playback. It's not dropping any frames, which is super impressive for KDE. And Manjaro KDE, another operating system I've tested just recently, that doesn't do so well in video playback, although it is a great operating system and it does very well in a lot of other areas as far as performance. But this is very good on video playback and it isn't dropping any frames at all. That's super impressive for a Raspberry Pi operating system. So that makes me want to check out some more performance stuff on these. So why don't we head over to my blog? Seems about normal. So I guess video playback is good. The other stuff is about normal. But let's take a look at more the operating system, like UI and everything. So we have like these. I just noticed that. Let's go to configure. I guess these are the wallpapers right here. They take a while to load. Let's just put this one on. That looks nice. Okay, so this is a, a menu up here. It's kind of like a right click menu. Anyway, so that's interesting. And then we have our stuff down here like KDE usually has. And we have this interesting mouse pointer. You could of course change that. And let's see what else we have here. We have the terminal, of course, and we kind of have this blue theme going, the mouse pointer and the top. And then we have this terminal prompt. It's like a custom one. Let's just take a look at some of the KDE things because of course the browser was a good benchmark kind of, but that's not really like the desktop environment you know, usage, it's just one app, which of course is an important thing, but let's head over to our system settings. And this is the normal KDE settings manager. Anyway, let's check out some of the things. So if we take the file manager, kind of shake it around here, there is some screen tearing, I guess, but it's not too bad. The performance around the desktop environment. It's KDE. It seems kind of like a slimmed down version of KDE, possibly, although you could configure it otherwise. But it's running very good, and KDE is a very nice desktop environment. So it's a good operating system if you're wanting KDE and you want good performance, although also Manjaro KDE is also a good one. So you can see that video link in the description where I review that operating system. But this one is based on Debian. That one's based on Arch. So if we go sudo apt update, we can see it has the apt package manager rather than the Pacman one in Arch. And it's just kind of based on Raspberry Pi OS, I think, because it had the Raspberry Pi welcome thing when I booted it up. So I think that is kind of the operating system it's based around. 
but there are so many great operating systems for the Raspberry Pi and I think this is a good one for video playback. But you could of course check out Fido S or something, but that is like, you know, kind of similar to Chrome OS. So it doesn't have as many features, but I think this is the other, you know, great operating system for video playback if you want one that has more features. Because of course you can get all the normal apps you can get on the Raspberry Pi OS or whatever else like that. And it is a great operating system overall. So I hope you enjoyed this video and you can subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Until next time, it's Fortnite Kiwi from Super User Project Dial.